Uh, but I mean, I'd hate to, I'd hate to prolong this even more. Um, but, uh, we've got, why not? Why not? Actually, I didn't want to do that this time. I wanted okay. to do, why not? <laughs> That's it. That's what I'm going to start doing. It's that emoji. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh yeah. Why <laughs> not? What? Yeah, totally. Uh, Emily, would you like to do the honors and tell us a little bit about the Melbach? Mel- yes. Melbach, right? Is that how you pronounce so, it? Okay. I'm well, so it, you have to ask Alicia actually how to really say it. Cause I just say it in Kentucky. I say a Malbec, <laughs> but she says it almost a spit take. So so fancy. Anyway, yes. it's a Malbec or Malbec, Malbec or how, think, however you yeah. say it. It's all good for sales for si. We're all good. No, a full body Malbec <laughs> with complete tannins, bold finish, mm-hmm. and notes of blackberry and cherry. Full body. That sounds a little like me. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling this Ooh. these days here. This is a wine worthy of extended. Cellaring, like a wine cellar. Like you're not, like you're not ING. trying to stab someone with celery. It's right, not a right, cellaring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's cellaring. It's is storing. It, are these words hard to say, or is that our accent, or why does it make it seem so funny? Well, it's just I'm, we're just not used to these. This is the point of this. This is the point of this segment to, to get our to get used to talking about wine. And because and, I mean, I tell you what, what, what was your your phrase that Woodford County is the um, Napa Valley of, Napa the, Valley East, of the East, right? Yeah, that's right. So, gotta get, man, it's really, it's, yeah, it's horses, bourbon, wine, All and even agriculture. Yeah, even, even beer. We're, we're starting to get some, some beer. In that's right. We too. have a master brewer there at Brussels Brewing brewer. Company. Yeah. We, yeah, yeah um, so, uh, Ooh, a Malbec, smell it. yeah, I know. A Malbec is actually my favorite wine. Okay. Um, just in general, but. Oh, it's a number one on the dry. On the dryness. But I didn't know that it had blackberry and cherry. I guess, I don't know if every Malbec does or if that's their that's recipe. A specific thing. I'll help you out here so you don't. Oh, he thinks. But we also <laughs> want to say with Wild Side Winery, they have a new, their newest team member has joined them. Little Axel Lee was born. Yes. Alicia and Clint had Axel this past week. God, um, so, so he's cute. home and, oh, so cute. He's home and he's healthy and he's happy. And mm-hmm. Mama is doing great too. So tell our friends at Wildside Winery, congratulations. They have their newest little winemaker yeah. born and ready to go. Oh, man. Yeah. He's going to, oh, my gosh. He's going to be a master, master. Oh, yeah. A black belt in winemaking. <laughs> That's right. So you said cellaring. So, so this is actually i mean to letting it set is for the longest this actually aging. ages yeah really well so and oh, cool. um i think it's like bourbon where if it ages in dark cool spots mm-hmm. like that's ideal for i think the sun yeah. and other light can kind of change it so cellars usually cellar. Are, yeah. a cellar always reminds me of the movie uh and we're prolonging the taste so let's go ahead and taste okay. it real quick clinky oh, yeah well Air, we don't air really clean. do it yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not because of COVID. I just, I just really don't want to. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mark. <laughs> so you have to get on air to see how he really feels about you. You thank your buds. You oh. thank your friends. Oh, we, Circle of trust we kid. over here. We and kid. Then, All right, here we go. I, I joke, I joke. I joke. Oh, yeah, I joke, mm. I joke. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Lots of different things. Mm-hmm. Lots of different things happening. Explosion of flavor. Like really the smell. Good. Hits you, and it's that rich, I don't know, I call it wine. I mean, it's just a rich wine smell to me. Do you get cherry at all? Uh, cherry after. See, I wouldn't have said that, but it makes sense. I feel but like, I wouldn't have been able to pick that. Um, there's two distinct two distinct things going on. There's a there's a top of the tongue and back of the tongue, I guess as you swallow, but... <laughs> and then it and then it just resonates throughout the whole tongue. It's I think it's a blackberry in the top. I feel like it's cherry on the back, and then... But and if I didn't tell everything. you that beforehand, would you have picked Jerry? I couldn't have done it. Uh, Honestly, no, I couldn't I don't have done know. it. I probably wouldn't have. That's actually. interesting. Now I want to know more. Yeah. But uh, this is well, yeah. maybe Blackberry. But do you, maybe. okay? So this is also another thing. This is a one on the scale of one to six. Yeah. Which we've been trying some kind of sweeter wines, but I don't feel like this is that dry. I mean, I really like it. I feel like. But that's interesting that it's a the, one on it the is dry. Very, it is sweet, but I can. After I can taste the dry, kind of mm-hmm. on the back, kind of the back end of your tongue. Yeah, it's a good dry. I really like yeah, it. Yeah. Anyway, this is delicious. Ooh. Perfect time for this time of year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Perfect pairs well with a steak or any red meat that definitely. you might have. I can definitely see that. Yeah. yeah. Or just a Friday mm-hmm. night with some chocolate, whatever mm-hmm, mm-hmm. works for you. Wild Side Winery. <laughs> That's their new. No, <laughs> <laughs> their jingle. That's their new jingle. <laughs> We should create jingles. Oh my gosh, we should do fill in your own jingle. You know, like whose line is it anyway? Mm-hmm. I bet you'd be good at that. Oh, I grew up on that. I love that stuff. Oh, we should totally do that Improv? on the segment. Come on, get out of here. 
One of my, one of my dreams that. is a great idea. One of my biggest dreams uh, was to go to Chicago, go to Second City. Uh, that's one of the biggest improv schools there. And then uh, hopefully one day be on Saturday Night Live. Oh, I, Corey, I, would, I can see it. I've always want. I mean, obviously, I, there's no way now, but... But it's fun. You never know. I can make my own Saturday Night Live, right? That's right. Yeah. That's what we're doing. That's, yeah. What's up, Woodford? We're next level. We're, co- mm-hmm. we're coming at mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> guys, yep. guys, guys. Yes, delicious, delicious. And girls. Corey, Sorry, I, I need to thing. ask you something, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, earlier. While, while we sip on some yeah, wine? Yeah, while we sip. Okay. On things. Um, You were telling me to ask you about a camera. <laughs> yes, yes. What kind of camera? Why so, are we talking cameras today? For Christmas. Um. For Christmas, I got uh, a new kind of like outdoor cameras to look, you know, around the house. Oh, uh, like security cameras. Security cameras. Okay. Uh, and they're great. And uh, it's really, really given me a great insight to the, all the happenings of my house while I'm away. <laughs> like Amazon deliveries? Like Amazon deliveries. <laughs> I know. The jig is up, Katie. <laughs> I caught, get girlfriend. now notified every time you get something. So it's... And you see how big or little those boxes, yep. like you can be like, what is that? It's, it's unreal. <laughs> it's unreal. I love it. You know, you should let her do her though, gotcha. Corey. I think you need to I just do. let her, you know, let her go, let her express herself through yeah. Amazon. She can't we use the excuse. Loyal. Yeah. We all need a little Amazon, uh, but she can't use the excuse when you can't go local. Right. Uh, uh, she always would say, oh, I got that a long time ago. Like, like that would make it, like that would make it like, better. Yeah, like where have you been? That's, yeah. Like the money we have now and the bank is, is, is there. Yeah, it's well, still there. I got this a long time ago, so it's not, <laughs> different it's not a big deal. It's different money. Less, hey, less hey, money. hey, um, speaking of monies, William was telling me that, you guys have probably read this news story, which is wild. And if anybody has an update, I'd love to know. But there was a guy who bought seven thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin back in the day. Oh, yeah. Have you heard that sure. story? No, but I can imagine that he's. And know. now it's worth like millions of dollars. Sure. Like I think two hundred million. I don't know millions sure. of dollars. Okay, and there's something with like a password where he only had eight tries or ten tries, and he'd done eight of them. Anyway, he only had ten tries to unlock it through this password. And this password was like super long. Like they made you do this really, really detailed password. Oh, wow. So it's probably not something like, it's not just like your, you know, yeah, Gmail know. login. It's like something <laughs> complicated. Yeah. So he had like 10 drives and he'd done eight of them, but apparently they can't help him recover it. Like he has to know or he'll lose it after these tries. Would you not be sweating? Or would you pay a hacker? What would you do? Oh. Uh, and offer a cut of it? I mean, like, that's a lot of money. I would definitely be talking to Mr. Bitcoin, whoever the heck is in, in charge there, and say, look, man, like, like can I, I can prove that I've, I've got internet history or something. I mean, yeah, that would be... And I'm sure his I bank would, account... I would, like, sue. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is, like, mine. Yeah. Like, in, in, unless it was, like, in the fine writing and, like, the terms you, you and agreements. You know it probably was. But, I mean, still, like, is that crazy? That's yeah, crazy. I mean, I, would you not be, like, devastated if you... I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. That's a life altering I don't know where right it there. stands now. Just the other day, they said, I think he had tried, like, eight out of his ten. So, he had two more left. That is and bizarre. And I want to say William told me there was, like, it was, like, a 24-word, something crazy like those, in Like, I don't know if you have Mac computers, but they give you that, hey, here, what, what about this password? And it's... Great. It's just yeah. the craziest thing you've ever seen. Yeah. yeah, I would never, I would never be able to guess that. God, yeah. that's such a bummer. Anyway, man. so Bitcoin. That's, that's what, those are different monies. One more thing I wanted to, I wanted to. It got brought up the other day while we have our little wine talk. To- wine talk. <laughs> we can call this wine talk. Chat over wine. Chat over wine. Need some cheese. We're whining over wine. Yes, that's true. <laughs> we are whining. I'm, I'm gonna whine a little bit real quick. We should do cheese. Whining over cheese. I love um, a good charcuterie. I, uh, my shoe came untied the other day mm-hmm. in front of you. Yep. And I put my foot up on the table to tie it. And you you weren't necessarily flabbergasted at the way I was tying it. You just were immediately thought of how William apparently ties <laughs> yeah. his shoes. And I can't make the... I, it's, it's really I'm not going to make the guys. joke that I made. But, but yeah, but go on. Uh, so, so, so here, I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah. shoot. I don't have the best shoe Does on anybody tie their shoes funny, too? So, hold on. Let's see if I can do this. The main reason I know is our kids are in the, like, learning phase. So, we're doing all these stories to try to help them do things in life. And one is shoe tying that we're starting to talk about at home. Okay. So, this is how – I don't know if you can see. 
Here, let me move all this. So this is how oh, the bottoms of shoes too. I, that is one of my that is one of my biggest like I can't handle it. Bottom of a bottoms. Sh- oh, of how shoes. dirty! Yeah, because you guys Think don't wear it. shoes in your house, right? No, I don't like, I mean, yeah. house shoes, but think yeah. about it. Where they go. Yeah. Bloom. Bathroom okay. floors of, yeah. And I'm putting it right here on the Ugh, I know that. Now you're giving me the creeps. So, so this is how I do it. Right? Okay. This yeah. This is how normal humans tie their shoes. Like, <laughs> I feel. Loop, loop, loop swoop, swoop, and pull. Boom. And then, yeah. and then for, for a little bit of sedula, boom. And then a little like, extra. Then I'll tuck it in. Oh, then you tuck it all in. Well, just for is that boots. your style? Just for these boots. They oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I see. Need, I okay. Need to retie, but anyway, so, so yeah. that's where's a Clorox wipe? For me <sighs> I know. I should just keep. I should just cut. Those are great, aren't they? I should just spray you down. I just like. I just wipe. I just <laughs> <laughs> Clorox wipes. So so yeah. So so okay. Tell me, how, how does how does William do it? <laughs> He's gonna kill me, you guys. He also. I went home and told him this story, and he was like, "I don't do that." I'm like, um. So okay. Okay. He he says. One bunny ear, so he loops it. Loop a bu- yeah. ear, okay. Bunny ear, two bunny ears. So you're telling me there's the two strings. Right. You're making a loop and a loop. Right, with- two bunny ears. And then somehow, because I don't even know how that happens, he does something. <laughs> like and a cartoon and there's like and a little smoke. Them. And then like, yeah. a, like a cloud. Right, And his right, fingers right, yeah. and then. And, and then, it's like, <laughs> boom. So, but it's like, he's teaching Millie. He's like, one bunny ear, two bunny ears. I'm that like, is. I'm like, what's happening right now? <laughs> Please. This has got, this can't be. It's like one of those debates like, okay, do you like toilet paper over or under? Oh yeah. Under it. I, like, so you're telling me, cause I, I, cause so here's the roll. Yeah. Here's the roll. Yeah. And the paper, I have to, it has to be over cause it. Cause I like you know it turns like yeah. But, but the wife, my wife, and this is a, is a silent battle that goes on in our house. These are things I will you should switch talk about it it. every every time. I'll switch it. I'll switch <laughs> it, and, and and I'll take it and I'll you just upside down it. So she likes it down. Yeah, but why would you do? Because that's the, the flat. The the paper is against the wall. So then you have to like scrape the wall. Your hands and you have to grab. It's just no. The, it just, it's already hang, a little piece is already hanging down. So then you just pull what you need. Yeah, but it, and click it off. Ugh. You know, I will say though, I say down, but I think most hotels do up. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that's like the proper way or if that's. That sounds to me like the <laughs> the non psychopath like, way. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just makes sense. Like you know, gravity. It's already down. down. I don't. Know. Yeah. I just feel like it's easily it's easily accessible from the top. You just. No, because then if from the top, then if it gets unraveled, then you can't find it, and it's rolled around. But at least down, the gravity's already taken it. So it's ready to go. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. How you're bringing science into it now. There's so many things that you could we could debate here. But yes, I want to know. And to end, why not? Quit whining. Well, quit whining. But I want to know what you guys, uh, you know, your preference on all those things, because that's. On That's shoe just tying, bizarre. if you do it any, my daughter's also a left-handed person, mm-hmm. so I feel like she's gonna be 15 before she can tie her shoes if William <laughs> gets a hold of that. But it's 2021, like just get some Velcro or some slip-ons. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they don't gotta. <laughs> who, right. who needs to really tie yeah, shoes she'll anymore? Yeah, she'll be 12 and still wearing Velcro. Yeah. Um, yeah. So tell us what you think about shoe tying. If you do anything interesting or funny, and which way your toilet paper goes. Yeah. Yes. That concludes our whining for wine. <laughs> Not. It's that's interesting. Okay. That's kinda of like the way that's moving. Yeah. I like that's moving. 